Valentine's Day. Really? Hmm. What's that? I leave her in peace and go out on the lash with the lads. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, lads. Alive and well, eh? <laughs> Next up, he teetered on the brink last week but survived the skate off. How's he uh, managed to put all that behind him? It's Matt Lipinskis <laughs> with Free and Elcor. <laughs> Last Sunday was a crazy, crazy night for me. A very emotional night. It's time for Matt and Brianne to perform. When I tripped, I thought, that's it, I've gone home. Don't give up yet. I have to vote for the strongest performance overall, and that is Matt. The Save Me Skate has to be performed perfectly, and therefore, I'm saving Shane. The two routines could not compare technically or with the performance, even with the mistake. I save Matt. Skin of his teeth, Matt skates again. I'm gutted. But it is what it is. It's hard because people on Twitter, people in the papers are saying you shouldn't be here, you don't deserve to be here. Because he stumbled, should he have gone? That's up to the judge, it's not up to me. If I was a judge, I would have put him through as well. It's a wake up call for me, really. Let me realise that you're never safe in this competition. Matthew has come in today a different person, not the Matthew we all know. He just lost his confidence. Everybody was shocked to see Matt in the skate-off. He was second on the leaderboard, got great marks, got great comments. He's still a bit shell-shocked, still a bit down from it. Crossing front, up, bounce. Oh, what am I doing? It's not my confidence, big time, big time. I don't feel like the same skater anymore. Ooh. I've got to come back stronger and stronger, but every time I go to do something, it's always in the back of my mind. Mentally, he's not there at the moment. <laughs> This has damaged him quite a lot. You've really got to let last week go, because yeah. all it's doing is dragging you down. I've been trying a week to just let it go now and just be positive about it and do it. Yeah. You're skating strong, so remember that. The skating's there. Focus on Sunday. Yeah. Yeah, got best that. performance. Let's do it. Skating to Ho oh, Hey, it's Matt and Brienne. I've been trying to do it right hey! I've been living a lonely life hey! I've been sleeping here instead hey! I've been sleeping in my bed hey! Sleeping in my bed didn't keep him out of last week's skate-off and his confidence was severely dented. Matt needing to pull up his socks and maybe those braces as well. This was a sleeping-in-my-bed lift with rotation. It was the forward double stag lift. Could have been a bit precarious and towards the end there was a, a whirly bird and a float. Scores are in. Robin Cousins, seven. Karen Barber, seven point five. Ashley Roberts, seven. Jason Gardner, seven. That gives him a total of twenty-eight point five. Jason, seven from you. Got to come to you first. Yeah, I mean, okay. First of all, I think um, you've, you're working a little bit better today than what I saw over the past couple of weeks. But certainly for me, 
I just felt that there wasn't the same mat that we're used to seeing. It just didn't have the same kind of energy. Sure, your, technici your technicality is there, everything is working well, but you just lost a bit of something special tonight. And that's why I didn't have a higher mark for you. I wanted something better from you tonight. Again, we talk about the confidence thing, Ashley. Do you think that's why that is? Um, I think that there was, a, you know, not quite the same map, but I still think you had fun out there. Um, I love the bit in the beginning. You and Brianne's timing, musicality was on point together. Um, I think that you had fun. I definitely could tell that there was just a little bit of that map that I know has that fierceness wasn't there, but it, but it still was a great performance, and you're strong every week, so. Mm -hmm. That's why I gave you your mark. Exactly. Rob, well, you think he's still attacking it, though, isn't he? I could see that the brain was engaged in what the feet had to do rather than enjoying skating with your partner tonight. As Ashley said, started out brilliantly. Then it lost its way a little bit, but then the second half was superb. You were relaxed, the speed came, the steps were clean, the lift was great. So, yes, the bravado of Matt needs to come back, but with the control of tonight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. And I completely... I uh, agree with what Robin has said. We need the mat that has that commitment and that just power with the control. I thought overall the performance was good. There was light and shade in the performance. There was a little bit of mistake at the beginning. But you found that back. You found the performance back again. Yeah, come on, Matt, we uh, need you back. Do you think you've lost your mojo a bit? Um, a little bit. I mean, this week was very um, difficult for me. I lost um, a lot of my confidence uh, during the beginning of the week and um, didn't attack the steps as much as I would have done at the beginning of the week. And, um, I don't know, it went oh, it was a bit weird, wasn't it? Strange week. It's just one of those things, you know, but, you know, it was a slower number tonight, and he was told to skate smooth, and he did, and you couldn't have done it any better than that, and you should be really proud of yourself. Just fingers crossed people pick up the phone this weekend. Maybe yeah, I can bring Matt back again next week. Give me something upbeat, and I'll bring myself back. I think Matt does skate with abandon, and sometimes he skates out of control and abandon, and we've seen that, and tonight he was bringing control. He was bringing that back. Yep. You've got that back. Let's let go and let's get the old map back, as they've all yeah. said. And it will come back, so do pick up the phone. OK, Thank well, he puts his heart and soul into every performance and all he wants in return are your votes. Lines open later in the show. For now, Matt and Brianne.